In China vs. NBA news. Ooh. Submitted by Damn Commies. <laughs> she said it. She said it. Damn Commies. Hong Kong protesters slam LeBron James for his comments about China and free speech. Oh, shit. China number one. Is that what he said? What did LeBron say? He said, oh. I like China. First, I gotta tell you what Daryl Morey said, which is Houston Rockets general manager. He tweeted out in a since deleted tweet this Fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong. And so, as far as I know, that's what really sparked the whole NBA drama. And so recently, uh, LeBron James. What's the whole NBA drama? Oh, with China. Remember we talked yeah, about it with Steve? Oh, yeah, and the whole Nike thing. I wasn't yeah. here. Gotcha. What happened? So for people who are just tuning in now and you've never seen this before, there is subscribe. a huge protest. Yeah, subscribe. First, subscribe. Mm -hmm. You done? Okay. <laughs> now there's a huge protest going on in Hong Kong because so uh, Hong Kong has this separate but uh, separate government mm -hmm. from China because they used to be a British colony yeah. and then Great Britain or, or they gave it back to China mm -hmm. but they were still under you know the same laws and rules that uh, uh, Great Britain had and then they said it, it would be a separate but but one nation yeah. right so they have their own passport they're, they 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 Money. yeah they run with their own laws and stuff like that and uh, I think they were supposed to go back in like 20, I'm gonna throw this number out, 40 or some shit, or 2030. in 1997 and then they gave them 20 years, right? 50 years. It's supposed 50, to be 50, 50 years. 50, I thought okay. it was 20. Oh. It's supposed to be 50 so, years to acclimate. Right? Yeah, so that that's when they were supposed to go back. Recently, uh, it all started when a couple from Hong Kong went to Taiwan and um, I think a boyfriend killed his girlfriend in, in Taiwan, came back to Hong Kong, but what ended up happening was the Hong Kong cops couldn't um, prosecute because it was done in Taiwan, which is considered still China. And there's just all these legal weird things, right? So a bill came to play and it was like, time to figure out if people can be extradited from a crime. And then so that they could prosecute them on Chinese soil and all these things. And from that, there were so many like, things that it was came really out of fuzzy because it. it was it was like anyone could be accused right. for a crime i got this part yeah. i just didn't get the nba part okay so now fast forward that's where that's where it started to that's where all the protests so there was started. a line that was drawn it's like either yeah. you're for hong kong or you're for china yeah. and that's when houston rockets general manager decided well i'm for hong kong and that just really created like a domino effect for all of nba where was the domino effect nike pulled their spot the the sponsorship of yeah. the Houston Rockets team. Exactly. Yeah. What? So yeah, because Nike, I guess, has a lot of oh, business in China. In China. Yeah. Factories but and a lot of Chinese people buy shoes and things like that. So they're just like, well, we can't have you say that. So they pulled the sponsorship from the Houston Rockets. Also, I just want to add because... Uh, hey, because, where'd you come from? <laughs> oh, right over there. Uh, there should be a fourth camera. I my own camera over there, honestly. Okay. Uh, but basically, with the NBA, Hong, uh, China is a huge, uh, like, as a nation, is a huge proponent for the NBA as a business. And uh, the Houston Rockets, because they, ca they drafted Yao Ming back in the day, like 10 years ago, uh, Houston Rockets is China's favorite team. And so for a Houston Rockets general manager to come in and go, we're pro Hong Kong, Big, big oh, red flag. Oh, that makes sense. But okay, so if you're for Hong Kong, does that mean you're for Hong Kong main, like being a city state, continuing to be a city state? Yeah, for the independence or, or yeah. Independent. Okay. And if you're for ch China, then it's to so it's like for Hong like, Kong to join China. So it's like kind of like like yeah. democracy versus communism. Kong communism. communism. Yeah. Exactly. So like Hong because Kong's democracy. China. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, co China is a one party state, right? It's ran by the Chinese Communist Party. And yeah. then Hong Kong, it's like America where there's multiple different parties and exactly. it's more Western in the way that they, yeah. And so the protests are protesters who are fighting for independence. Yes. Yeah. And but then now they've been treated with like so much like mistreatment and stuff and and uh, like police like, brutality. Are there foreign police, police there? Like Chinese police or No, it's Hong Kong police, but they're pressured from the Chinese government yeah, because ultimately Hong Kong is a part of China now. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
Yeah, they're like the mayor and everyone, they're getting pressure from, you know, big government and they're telling them you got to do this, you got to do that. So, you know, there's just a lot of crazy shit that went down. Like they hired the mob to go out and beat protesters. They yeah, have. a lot of That's stuff. so crazy. Yeah. So then now LeBron James, he said this during a press conference thingy. We, we all talk about this freedom of speech. Yes, we all do have freedom of speech. About that But at tweet. times there are ramifications for the negative that can happen. Um, when you're not thinking about others, you know, you're only thinking about yourself. So um, I don't believe, uh, I don't want to get into a, a, word, a, a word or sentence uh, feud with Daryl, um, with Daryl uh, Morey, but I believe he wasn't educated on, on, on the situation at hand. And, um, and he spoke. And uh, so many people uh, could have been harmed, uh, not only financially, but physically, emotionally. Mainly financially, all financially. Yeah. So just be careful what we, what we tweet and we say and what we do. Even though, yes, we do have freedom of speech, but there can be um, a lot of negative that comes into it. Yeah, and the negative things that he's talking about is all financial. Yeah. When he's saying there might be negative things that can happen from your freedom of speech, it's all talking about I'm afraid that I'm losing money and all of us are going to lose money. Losing my sponsorship. We're angering China. And, and they were losing money because they're all doing this preseason thing right now in the uh, for the NBA, and they're all playing in China. Like they literally just got. They're back. playing in China, oh, yeah. and as they're so they just got wined and dined by them yeah, and all yeah. that. Yeah, and they, that's a lot why of he them, says physical negativity repercussions. Exactly, and a lot of them are flying out there not just for the preseason games, but to do appearances and stuff like that. And all their appearances and a lot of the sponsorships are being canceled as they arrive in yeah. China. So. So then the the reason why. So many people are upset with LeBron James now after making that comment is because people are like, how hypocrite of you? Mm -hmm. Because he was very vocal with the whole Black Lives Matter movement and like, so he, had, this is his tweet that he tweeted out last year and people are throwing this back in his face because it says, um, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Our lives begin mm. to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Wow. Mm. He tweeted that out and then now he's saying like, just, just be quiet. Just yeah, quiet. even though there's an injustice somewhere. Exactly. Because when it hurts his own bank account, that's exactly. when people go, shh, so we don't have to be like, so political. Like dude, <laughs> you're, you're a fucking hypocrite. Yeah. So Hong Kong is pissed. Rightfully so. And Ooh, so burning they, the LeBron they're burning, oh, shit. No, they're burning his jersey. Fuck your basketball, man. But remember and when they're he like had, protesting against him. <laughs> he had the See? um wow. Remember when that lady told him to shut up and dribble? With Hong Kong. Would, yeah. Remember yeah. that was a big thing exactly. when the news reporter just said like, Oh, basketball players should shut up and dribble. Exactly. And he was like, uh uh. Yeah. So then uh now, now he's saying it. Now he wants to shut up and dribble. Says, Thank you, Moray. Stand with Hong Kong. That's mm -hmm. what they're holding. It's funny that he's even saying, I don't think he's educated about this whole situation. Cause it's like, you sound uneducated, man. Yeah. So that's the drama. Unless the he's saying, up. I'm educated and I think that Hong Kong people should be prosecuted in China. That's true. <laughs> I think Cause I'll... China pays the good bucks. <laughs> yeah. I think if I was a basketball player, and then like, I mean like, what kind of sucks too is you always have these reporters that are looking for these sound bites and they're oh, trying yeah. to be juicy and controversial. So they're probably asking, hey, what do you think, LeBron? He just finished playing basketball. And, and then, because I hear so many fighters all the time where they're like, can you just ask me about my fight? And stop asking me about all this other bullshit. But since he is, he's the content. goat of right now, and he's the he's, he's like a, a super, superstar that they have to ask him about all these but other he's things. He's a super, superstar. He's gotten trained on PR before. He didn't have to say like, I think he's uneducated about yeah. this. Like he, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what for yeah. me, I would have been mm -hmm. like, I would have been like, Honestly, that's some fucking yellow lives matter shit. I don't know anything about that. Don't fucking even ask yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, that would have been a yeah, more- Talk to me about like, fucking basketball. Yeah. But then I guess like the same person's gonna be like, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. He should have just been like, I'm sorry, I'm not, you know, I, I shouldn't be answering this. I don't know enough information about it, but I'm definitely gonna look into it now. I'd be like, someone pass me a basketball. <laughs> Well, he ended up like swerving the conversation in another interview thing after the backlash from that first thing that he Duh, said. Yeah. And then he was just like, he pretty much um, maneuvered the conversation to be like, well, I'm really focused on like the inner city kids. That's smart. Like, his yeah. thing that he is actually working towards. 
So, yeah, I think now he's just like, damn, I fucked up. Yeah, it's difficult because when, e even with me, and I'm obviously nowhere near LeBron James yet, um, Ooh. People, like people do expect me to have a stance on so many different I issues, especially when I do take a stance with like empowering women. And, damn, like, really? Know, I, you know, talk about my history with domestic violence and like certain things about my personality. People expect me to speak on every issue related to that, but you really do have to have your one laser yeah. focus and it's hard to speak on everything because you're not, you can't be educated on every issue. One or two things and you can like care about the other things, but like you, where you really put your energy, you can only really help like those things that you're yeah. passionate about to you because there's so many fucked up things. Yeah. And people will still try to cancel you though because you totally. speak on something yeah. specific. How come that never happens to me? Because you're not a lady. True. Blame it. Nobody expects me to stand, take a stand on anything. Because you, you haven't taken a stand on anything. Maybe. I'm pretty political. That's true. Never mind. I, I, I rescind. <laughs> I mean, I think I immediately rescind. I think ever since I had that decision to focus on this one thing, because I used to talk a little bit about politics and, um, you know, I would. Like, Do you ever tell people to shut the fuck up? Cause I do no, that. No, I try to be diplomatic, but that's oh. where, you know, like I got canceled one time and it, I was like, oh, How did you get canceled? Can yeah. Because, let me tell you. I can't get canceled if I'm not on the keyboard, you know what I'm saying? I got canceled cause I made, this is gonna sound, cr well, I don't know how it's gonna sound. I made a shirt that said feminine savage and that was offensive to indigenous people. That oh, word can be wow. offensive, offensive to savage. Yeah, we did do a whole savage thing. But that's such a bro word too. I know, like and savage. that's a word She's I a was... fucking savage, she's a fucking savage. Yeah, and, and I was- So the whole native community was like, I don't want to lift with her anymore. No, no I'm a savage. <laughs> Is that what not, they're saying? My, not the whole, but there were a few. It was only the Cherokee because a few, it like people who were indigenous from indigenous ancestry reached out to me and explained to me a few things. But I got more criticism from people who weren't a part of that community. White people are very. I understand. <laughs> um, crazy right now. Okay, it has, I feel like, bad for white people. <laughs> I know. <laughs> white people be fighting each other about racism and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the N word for Native Americans? I mean, someone tried to make that comparison and they it was a black woman who made that comparison. And I said, I gotta stop talking to you right now because you can't compare savage to the n-word i'm just like sorry that's those aren't the same you're because you're though. saying the word savage you're not saying the the n-word if yeah. they're that's and, and that's so those conversations i was engaging in them and now i just am like that's so cool. if i get canceled like i get canceled. that's what i'm saying is you're kind that you actually engage in the conversation because like i would just humiliate them or not <laughs> deal with them for for being crazy like i don't know if they a public yeah. political stance um not really, but I do remember in the past I tried to, you know, I've always tried to like incorporate, I'm a white lady with like a couple of businesses, so I always tried to make sure that there was some representation in my companies and like. But what if they suck though? Go, well. It's like, why do I have to hair, like hire some people because of their race? Yeah. They could fucking suck and I wouldn't want them. I want to hire people that I like that are well, dope. Well, you can find people of different races that are dope, um, yeah. and then you have like different perspectives in your company. Yeah. I think that was- Yeah, but I gotta go out of my way. Like, I just want to <laughs> go around my proximity. But you do have a good diversity in your company. By accident. But that's what I mean. I wanted it all yeah. Asian, but then you guys <laughs> fucked it up. I was trying to be exclusive. But now I was trying exclusive. to be racist, yeah. but you know what happened is like, you all dated Mexicans. Yeah. Yep. <laughs>